Greg here for Party Foul. I got my son Adam here, and I'm teaching him War Machine. Hopefully, you can kind of learn along and pick up some tips and stuff like that. And today, he's, I'm gonna, I'll get him to tell. I'll get him to tell you a bit about it right now. Uh, so last episode, we learned about uh, uh, the different uh, kind of characters um, of warlocks, and yep. and then there's different size bases. There's units, and there's also single uh, the characters. Yeah. And we learned about the cards and the hitboxes. Yeah. And the how to kind of look at the cards and all that. We did, we learned generally yeah. what the stuff is, but we didn't, don't know how to use it yet, right? Yeah. Yes. So we have that information. Okay. Uh, so today we're going to learn about how to move the models, how to um, how to make attacks, how to record damage. Mm -hmm. That sort of thing. Okay? So, let's talk about how to move. So we're just going to pull this up. Oh, did it die? That's unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Um, and my phone's at 4%. We should have charged that. Put that on the charger. Okay. So, let's use Kaya as an example. And actually, if you give, bear with a second, I'm going to bring the camera and put it down on the table so that everybody watching the video can see what's going on on the table. Okay, so we're down here, we're looking at the table, we can just get these guys out of here so they can see a little better. We're going to talk specifically about how models move. Okay. Because okay. there's very, I wouldn't say strict rules, but there's very specific rules about how models move. <laughs> so, on this side we got Kaya, and on this side we got the Wolf Lord Morag. So if we quickly look at Kaya's card, if we're going to move her, what is her speed? Uh, speed is 7. Speed is 7. So if she's just going to advance... Uh -huh. This is how movement works. Uh, normally, like there is on the Storm Raptor, you can imagine a midpoint on the front, right? Mm -hmm. This is the front arc, that is the back arc. Okay? Oh. So there's a midline on the front arc. Whenever the model moves, it moves in a straight line only. Oh, okay. okay. So, for example, if you want to move this direction, the model turns this way. Oh, okay. It moves that direction, and if you want it to change direction, that way. Does that take um, an extra? It, does, it doesn't take any movement to pivot or to rotate, okay. just to move. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't move like this or whatever. Those type of movement. The reason they don't use those type of movements because it's difficult to track, right? Okay. You don't know how many inches that is, but if you're moving in a straight line, you know how many that is. And there actually are. I'll grab those in a second. But so, say, say you wanted to move. This way and then that way. How would you do that? Show me. Well, you take the. Mm, you would have to split it up seven inches into. Correct. Like, so you maybe you like. You take this you know, very start of the base. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh. You already did something wrong. But that's okay. So it's thicker there. Yes, exactly. Because if you if you moved her to this way to the end, sorry, just move that your right, move your hand. So if you went from front to back, you're actually adding the length of the base to the movement. Oh, okay. So if you're measuring from the front, you move to the front, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so then if you wanted to change her direction... You would just turn. Turn, yep, and then she moves in a straight line. For three inches, we don't have three. Correct. So I guess... Oh, actually here. So these are... Uh, Remember that see this may not know what these are. These are measuring sticks, and they come in different colors and stuff like that, but they have the, the number on the end. You can see that one's 10. So these are inches. I guess I should have mentioned that. You can always use a measuring tape, so you could use this, right? Mm -hmm. And you can go straight line three, turn this direction, straight line three, and that's fine for most measurements, but if you want any accuracy and if there's like any chance of like a question of like, can I get there or can I not get there, then it's better to use the measuring sticks. So the, you can buy sets of them, you don't have to buy them, like I said. So this is uh, a widget and it has two inches, I'll show you inside too. Half inch, three inch, five inch. So once again, two, okay. three, half, five. Okay. So that's your three on that side. And okay. it's got a companion one where it's got inch, four inches, two inches, six inches, right? Six, four, one, two. Okay. So then you would go, you'd turn. Yep. Turn in the middle. Yep. There. Uh, yep, you didn't move in a straight line. Oh, yeah. Because you had that measure on the middle. Yes, exactly. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, there are a bunch of other tools that you can use to uh, help you move models around. Um, and this is only if, like I said, if, if the measurement is super important, right? There's proxy bases. So this is a proxy base that's a large base proxy. So if the model itself is going to cause problems with moving it, and you want to like get something super accurate, you can replace the model with the proxy base, and now you can make your measurements off there, and you can even use, if it's important, you can even use, and I'll explain why it's kind of important later, you can use another proxy base. So that's where okay. it's going to end up, right? So you can use this, and you can go, she's going to move three inches to there, right? Mm -hmm. And then she's going to move, she's going to turn and face that way and move four inches to there, and that'll be her end position. And this is, <clears throat> this is called a melee gauge. So you have two inches, one inch, three inch, and half inch. Once again, that's half inch on that side, or 0.5, three, two, one. So if you put the base there and you want to see, can I attack Megalith, you can put down the two and you can see it's just outside of the melee range. Right? Okay. Um, and I guess I should mention, I didn't mention before, but it always just seems sort of like, like obvious, but this is an open measure game, so you can always measure any measurement. Okay. And if it's your turn and you want to find out if she can get to Megalith and attack him, you can proxy this out without, without like, doing it for real. Okay. Just to see if that's a possibility. Okay. Okay? All right. So, would that's... You, for that, would you leave a marker for where the person was? Yeah, exactly. So if you were, like, going to do that with that, you'd be like, that's where she is. Maybe I'll use her base or another proxy or something like that to move her around and see if that's possible. So part of, some of the reasons that you may want to move them in a non-straight line is that uh, unless you have a rule that allows you to, you are not allowed to move through other models, friendly or enemy. Oh, okay. So if the, all these dudes are like standing around here, and she wants to see if she can get to Megalith, she has to make a number of different moves yeah. to get there. There's also terrain, and we're going to talk about that in a different video, but okay. terrain can also mean that you have to move around. Like if there's a house here, and you don't have ability that lets you walk through the house, you have to walk around the house. Okay. Okay? So the most important thing to get from that, always in a straight line. Okay. Okay. 